So we just got our Tesla Cybertruck and the real question is, can it fit in the garage? I never even wanted to park it in the garage. I actually preferred to park in the street, the stainless steel and all that stuff. However, the problem with that was whenever I park it in the street, everyone comes to take photos. So it's just constantly people taking photos in front of our house, my street signs and everything. So I'm trying to find a better way to figure out where to put the Cybertruck. And maybe eventually when the Cybertruck hype dies down, I'm going to park it outside. However, I thought to myself, does it fit in my garage. Now for me, I just have a standard Irvine Orange County garage. We're gonna see how long and how wide it is first. As you can see right now, I have my Tesla Model X and my Tesla Model Y in there. They both fit comfortably. The doors on the X open easily as well. And also if I wanted to, I can open both trunks with the garage door closed, which is awesome. So most garages, they're about 12 foot wide and then they're about 20 feet deep. The width wise, it kind of stops in this area, but it goes further. So let's just see how wide it is column to column real quick. My garage is almost 16 feet wide. So with the Model X, when I go in, I kind of have to go straight, but then I like to turn to the left because there's more space on the sides of the garage, which gives space for my wife to get in and out and just makes it easier. So let's see how wide it is from that area. So from the inside of the garage, to the other side, almost 20 feet. So inside to inside, it's about 20 feet. Now, most people's garages is full of stuff like me. So let me show you what I have to work with. Welcome to my garage tour. Come on in. So here's the garage. I got like my Tasmanian floor mats. I got like a tent I have to test out. We have an outdoor fridge. And this is why our electricity bill is so expensive because we have like two fridges and a chest freezer. I have all of my dog's pool filters here. And you can already kind of see with the Model X, this is how close it is to the fridge. So it's very, very close. So I like parking close here because then it allows me like I said to open the trunk when the garage door is closed and I also in the middle have a gigantic chest freezer so if we were to just assume that the cyber truck is gonna fit in this spot if I was to take this square and maybe to where that refrigerator square is it's a little over eight feet wide so again this is like getting in the way of the space on this side I have my pressure washer I have my bike and I also have like a rack here so that's why for sure there's no way the cyber truck is gonna fit on this side now I did try doing this with the Rivian before however I didn't do a perfect job because I think there were stuff on the side here as well, but it definitely didn't fit in the garage because it was too long. So we'll see with the Cybertruck. I'm gonna do some more measurements. I'm gonna take out the cars and then see if we could fit the Cybertruck in here. All right, so now we got all this space. So if I was to measure all the way, all the way to about here, 19 feet and nine inches. My garage has these slats that juts out. So when it's closed, it's not this piece. We still have to account for like this much space. So let's go ahead and measure the Cybertruck, see how wide, see how long it is. Cause I, might, I wonder if I could fit it into the garage without removing those stuff there. So let's just see. The widest point is the fenders. So if I was to give like maybe three inches of room on that side, around six feet and 10 inches. So actually it's not too bad. Let's see, this is a long truck. The truck length is 19 feet and six inches and that's from end to end too so i'm gonna bring the x in first and then let's go ahead and try to bring the cyber truck in the moment of truth so i'm just gonna measure the model x because it is bigger than the model y i'd say like around here it's almost as wide as the cyber truck six feet and 10 inches wide and then lengthwise lengthwise i'm getting around 16 feet and six inches holy it's over three feet shorter and then for me i have to go all the way up for me to open the trunk in the x all right so let me move the x inside the garage moment of truth so i think i'm gonna have to move these boxes here because it's for sure not gonna fit if my x barely fits with with the boxes and it's three feet longer it's for sure not gonna fit here's my cyber truck right here i'm just kidding it's not my cyber truck it looks like a cyber truck okay so i moved all the stuff out so it gave me definitely more space will it fit if it go all the way in here because i have this uh ice freezer here so the width wise this is six feet and eight inches also it sucks is my cyber truck that doesn't have sensors is a vision system so it's not a hundred percent accurate so i'm gonna make sure everyday jan is here so i don't hit anything am i gonna hit this and these side mirrors are, oh, I will say the steering is impeccable. So it's nice because I have my front camera here so I can see at least in the front and I have my side repeater camera as well there. So I'm just going to go straight. Normally I always have to go to the right a little bit. All right. So the problem looks like this fender right here is going to hit this and then, oh, I can't even squeeze through. And it looks like on this side, this is in the way. So I have to move this further to the left. At least this steer by wire is awesome because it's so easy to navigate. I just have to move the chest fuser to the right. So we're gonna try it again. I'm going to the right now. Am I good straight? Straight's good? Yeah. 
All right, so this is how it looks in the front. I think I made it, huh? We made it, look, in the rear. I think we made it. But remember, like I said, there's a piece here. So let's see if it's, I don't think it's gonna hit though. We're gonna close the garage door. I'm ready, I'm ready. Holy, I'm gonna hit the X closer than the. Dude, look at all this space. Nice. Oh my, we fit in the garage. That's crazy. The only problem is um, there's legit no space. You can see how, that's how it looks here. Very, very close. I can't even get in and out. So not really realistic because once this car is in here, nobody can access anything on the other side. So either we have to do some remodeling and move the stuff, the, like the racks onto this side and park the X on this side, or um, we'll just have to park outside because there's no way. Like I can't like get anything if I wanted to get anything here. But if we wanted to actually like make it a usable garage with the garage door closed, we're gonna have to move stuff around for sure. So there you have it. If you didn't think the Cybertruck can fit in the garage, it can definitely fit in the garage. But the problem is anything on the other side of the garage, you can't have access to because it's literally from the, all the way from the top to the garage door. So I probably might still park this bad boy outside for the time being. A few moments later. So I cleaned out the garage, sort of, but we put this rack here and you could see that we moved the Model X over here. There's not that much space for the Model X now, but at least I could bring the car here on this side, but now I can't open the Model X trunk. But look at all this space for the Cybertruck. Do you guys think it's gonna fit now? Cause that'd be insane. If we could fit a Tesla Model X and a Cybertruck in a garage at the same time. So because we have zero vision sensors that assist us, so I don't get any of the measurements or inches or anything, the front camera and rear view camera and side cameras have been a game changer. And I found out that the bumper is where this line is for the front. So let's go ahead and come on in. Plenty of space kind of on that side. Okay, we're coming in. And then I can go all the way up to this line here. Okay, and let's check the rear camera. Look at that, we have space. So now you can see where the bumper is in relation to the wall. I still have a few extra inches on top of where that line was. So you can see how close I am to this side here. It's not too bad. If I just back out at a slight angle on that left, I should be okay, no problem. And on the left side over here, look at all this space I have. It's insane how much space I have. Another thing I learned about the Cybertruck is make sure you do not door ding another car because you're gonna damage their car so bad. I was so afraid I was gonna hit my car because the door is so heavy, but it definitely fits two cars, no problem. Even the X and also the Cybertruck. But look at all this space. And the beauty with this is because I have my Model X on the left side, I can still access stuff in the middle of the garage with the garage door closed, no problem because there's enough space. And the Cybertruck since it's all the way at the far end, it doesn't really matter anyways. But that settles the question on can a Model X and a Cybertruck fit in a normal size garage. Anyways guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.